Having your tires properly inflated can make a big difference in how your vehicle handles, how it rides, and can even prolong the life of your tires. So let's take a look at how much air your tires should have in them, how to check them for proper inflation, and how to add air to them if you have to. At least once a month and before you go on a trip, do a walk around of your vehicle and inspect all your tires. Look for any visible damage and check to see if any of your tires look low. And the best time to do that is at the beginning of the day before you go anywhere. That way before you drive off, you'll know if you need to get a tire aired up, possibly fixed, or maybe even replaced. When I walked around my car, I thought my left rear tire looked a little bit low. Not much, but I want to check it. First I looked at what the tire pressure monitoring system said. It reads at 28 PSI for my left rear tire. The recommended tire pressure for this vehicle is 30 pounds per square inch on all four tires. And how do you know how much tire pressure your tires should have? Your tire will show a maximum pressure that it should have. In this case it's 51 PSI, but that's not what you go by. You always want to go by what the manufacturer of your vehicle says you should have. And the recommended pressure for the tires for your vehicle should be on the inside of the driver's side door, right here on the edge of the door, on this placard. And sometimes you'll find this sticker on the end of the door instead. It tells you what the size of your tires should be, the size of your spare, and it shows what the cold tire pressure should be for your front and rear tires. For this vehicle, the recommended front and rear pressure is 30 PSI. But they could be different. Depending on the vehicle, the manufacturer might recommend a higher pressure for the front tires than for the rear, or vice versa. They don't necessarily have to be the same. Most of the time they are. So I need to have 30 PSI on all four of the tires on this vehicle. And this is cold tire pressure. And that means when the tire hasn't been driven for at least three hours. Or if you've only driven about a mile at low speeds, because as you drive, the temperature of the tire goes up, and that can cause the air pressure inside the tire to go up. Right now, my left rear tire only has 28, so I'm going to add two more pounds of pressure to that tire to get it up to where it should be. And my other tires are okay. If your vehicle has a tire pressure monitoring system, a TPMS, it's a great tool to have to keep an eye on your vehicle's tire pressure. These systems are fairly accurate. But before I put air in or take air out of my tires, I also check it with a regular gauge. And if you don't have a tire pressure monitoring system, you definitely need to get a tire pressure gauge. I have two tire pressure gauges here. Neither one of them cost very much. This very simple one cost about a dollar. This one cost about ten dollars. And both came from Amazon. I'm going to use both of these to check the tire pressure in my left rear tire. My TPMS said I had 28 pounds of air pressure in that tire. Let's see what these say. First thing you need to do is unscrew the cap on your tire valve. And put that cap in your pocket or somewhere safe where you won't lose it. I'm going to use the manual gauge first. You're going to put this into the gauge over the end of this tire valve and you're going to push it straight on until you don't hear any air hissing out. It forces the indicator out of the bottom of the gauge and gives you a reading. So let's see what that tells us. There's the 25 PSI mark. So two marks up would make it 27 and it looks like it's just a little bit above 27. So that pretty much agrees with the TPMS. Now we'll use the digital gauge. Different kinds of these might work differently. But for this one, all I do is push the switch. There's the readout, it's showing zero. So I'm going to put it on the tire valve and push it down all the way and get a reading. My left rear tire has 28. So either one of those gauges would be fairly accurate and fairly inexpensive. And both basically agree with the car's TPMS pressure reading. That lets me know that the monitoring system is doing a good job at measuring my tire pressures. And it gives me an easy way of doing frequent checks on my tires, in addition to visual checks. A properly working TPMS system will also give you an alert on your dash when any one of your tires has an exceptionally low pressure reading. And if that happens, you need to get that tire aired up as soon as possible and then check it for damage to see if there's a specific reason why it lost that air. My left rear tire needs 2 PSI of air pressure added to it to get it back up to the recommended 30 PSI. I have a small portable tire inflator air compressor that I'm going to use to do that. It only costs me $30 and I leave it in my trunk so it's always there if I ever need it. And I recommend you get something like that for yourself if you can. Having it in my trunk means no matter where I'm at, if I have a low tire, 
I can take care of that myself. That's some peace of mind. But you can also have a mechanic do it, or you can use one of the air machines that you find outside of a gas station. This is what I've been using for a while now. It's a DC 12 volt in-car air compressor. This also has a gauge on it that gives you a reading as it goes along. So I'm going to stop filling my tire when this gets to the 30 PSI mark. Just like the tire gauges, you push it on all the way until you don't hear any air coming out, and then lock it down. And it's a little noisy, so I'm not gonna make you listen to that. And I got it up to 30. So then I'm gonna remove this and put the cap back on the tire valve. And double check that with my TPMS system. And I'm showing left rear, 30 PSI. And when you're checking the air pressure in your tires, don't forget to check the air pressure in your spare. That's often overlooked, but that spare is very important if you have a flat tire. And all tires gradually lose air over time. So make that part of your routine. Periodically, check the air pressure in your spare tire. And that recommended air pressure is gonna be a lot higher than the air pressure in your normal tires. On this vehicle, it's 60 PSI. I'm going to check and see how much air is in my spare tire. And it just shows about 51 pounds, so I'm going to add some more air to it. And 60.2, so I'll just leave it at that. A 10 degree change in air temperature in either direction can cause a one to two PSI change in the air pressure in your tires. So as the weather gets colder, you may need to add more air. And as the air temperature gets hotter, you may have to decrease the amount of air pressure in the tire. I hope this gave you a better idea of how to keep your tires properly inflated, because if you do, you're going to have a safer and better driving experience. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Oh, and it looks like that left rear tire is down again. So time to get it fixed or maybe time just to get a new tire. Dang it.